The Cowardly Mouse Against the Lion Once upon a time, deep in the heart of the forest, lived a small, timid mouse named Milo. He spent his days scampering through the tall grass, nibbling on seeds, and enjoying the warmth of the sun. Milo wasn't known for being brave, but he was happy in his little world, until one day, something exciting happened that would change everything. As Milo wandered through the forest, he came across a busy rabbit named Ruby, who seemed unusually excited. Milo, have you heard about the mysterious street that the lion guards? She asked with wide eyes. They say that anyone who eats the fruits there grows wings. Milo's ears twitched in disbelief. Wings, he squeaked. That can't be true. Ruby, noticing his skepticism, explained, I don't know, but everyone's talking about it. There's a magical fruit that grows only in the lion's guarded street. The lion says no one can have it, but I wonder, do you think it's real? Before Milo could answer, a familiar voice chimed in from behind. You two are talking about the magic fruit? I've heard of it too. It was Cinderella, the wise owl, perched on a branch above them. I've always been curious about that fruit, she continued. But why should the lion keep it all for himself? It's everyone's right to taste it, don't you think? I'll go pick it myself. Milo watched in awe as Cinderella flapped her wings, ready to go on her adventure. But Ruby, looking concerned, asked, aren't you afraid of the lion? Milo, usually the timid one, stood up tall and puffed out his chest. I'm not afraid of the lion, he declared. I'll go instead. I'll show everyone that I'm brave. The other animals were shocked. A little mouse, challenging the mighty lion, but Milo was determined. He put on his walnut shell helmet, grabbed his hazelnut shell shield, and took a deep breath. I should be afraid of him? Wait for me, king of the forest. I'm coming. Milo set off toward the lion street, heart pounding in his chest. As he neared the lion, he saw the huge creature napping peacefully beneath a tree. Milo hesitated. The lion looked so big and strong, too strong. But then he remembered his resolve. Quietly, he climbed the tree, careful not to wake the lion. Just as he reached for one of the magical fruits, his paw slipped and the fruit fell straight down. Thud onto the lion's head. The lion's eyes snapped open. Who hit me? He roared. Show yourself. Milo froze, terrified, but then remembered his bravery. Um, it was me. He squeaked, trying to stand tall. I'm just here for a few of your fruits, Mr. Lion. The lion growled angrily, his big paws shaking the tree. Milo couldn't hold on any longer and fell, thud, right into the lion's giant paw. The lion was furious. How dare you take my fruit? He bellowed. He shook Milo by the tail and threw him across the ground. Now get out of here, tiny mouse. No fruit for you. Milo ran as fast as he could, his heart racing with fear. When he reached Cinderella, she asked, did you get the fruit? Milo, out of breath, could only shake his head. I, I couldn't. The lion was too big and he got mad. I didn't get any fruit. Cinderella looked at him kindly. Milo, you must believe in yourself. You can overcome your fears if you try. Go back and face the lion again. I know you can do it. But Milo was still afraid. He stayed hidden, thinking that maybe he wasn't brave enough to go back. Meanwhile, as the lion roamed the forest, he became entangled in a web trapped by a family of spiders. No matter how hard he tried to escape, the webs held him tight. Help, someone help me, the lion cried. Just then, Milo heard the lion's calls for help. His heart pounded in his chest. Could he really help the lion? For a moment, he hesitated. But then, remembering Cinderella's words, he decided to try. He grabbed his tiny sword and ran toward the lion. With all his might, he cut through the spider webs and freed the mighty lion. The lion looked at him, astonished. You saved me, little mouse. How can I ever repay you? Milo smiled nervously. Well, Mr. Lion, I was hoping for a few of those magical fruits. The lion 
now grateful, smiled back and handed Milo a basket full of the fruits. Take as many as you like. Brave mouse. Milo returned to the other animals and shared the fruits with them. But when they all ate them, nothing magical happened. No one grew wings. They looked at each other in confusion. But weren't we supposed to grow wings? Ruby asked. Milo grinned. Sometimes when we do something brave, it feels like we're growing wings and flying with happiness. That's the real magic. From that day on, Milo was no longer the cowardly mouse. He had faced his fears, saved the lion, and gained the respect of all the animals in the forest. He was braver, happier, and ready for whatever adventure lay ahead. And so, the little mouse learned that true courage comes not from physical strength, but from believing in oneself and facing challenges head on. And who knows, maybe one day, he would truly grow wings after all.